Thinking of the X-Men roster from the animated series, so far my custom Lego and Lego X-Men collection has pretty much filled every spot of that team. For this roster, I'm just missing Jubilee. Adding in two more figures as well, looking at the 90s blue and gold teams. I'm going to be missing Jubilee, Bishop, Archangel, and then Psylocke basically, so I'm getting very close to completing my ideal team of the X-Men. With that being said though, and the animated series in mind, the Jean there, you know, I love the Phoenix design, that's a great minifigure, but as somebody that grew up on the animated series and that sort of 90s look, the version today by MRM minifigures is also going to be a very great option and it's going to fit a lot more in line with those minifigures. Just starting off with a quick look at the packaging, it's going to be consistent with their previous figures in the plastic clamshell. The card design is going to be the same. You can see that this version is a silver tier minifigure, which means that it has around 20 to 30 minifigures made of it. I do think this one was closer to 30, maybe 40 even. Comparing that to the Spider-Man there, which is a gold, I think there were only two of the dark purple ones made. And at the bottom right corner, there's going to be the number that's arbitrary, it doesn't really matter, but it's the number of the set of minifigures. So I got 15 here. Previously, I got two out of two on the dark purple one there. There's going to be nothing on the back, but let's quick open this up and get a better look. And this is going to be where their design has changed a little bit, where you can see the plate that is glued to the card. Previously, they just had the card with nothing on it. The plate was in there, attached to the slip that you would peel off if you wanted to glue it. Now they went ahead and decided to glue the plate to the card for you. The function for that is going to be pretty simple. You're just going to be able to attach the minifigure with the back of the legs and display it inside of the plastic clamshell. If you wanted to do that instead of putting in a display or a case of its own. It is a decent feature, gives you an option for display. So that's fine. I kind of like the idea of doing what I did on the Spider-Man minifigure. I just put it on the packaging so I didn't have to permanently glue something onto the card because I do really like the print, but I can see why they would want to do that. Just streamline it, make it more professional looking, fine. All that being said, let's go ahead and get the minifigure on the stand. And my first impression of this Jean figure is that it is pretty much a perfect representation of the version from the cartoon. Of course, you know, it is based directly off of the Marvel Super Heroes video game, so it is good that they are able to just copy the details and get it looking the way it should. It stands out compared to other MRM figures since it does have arm printing and side leg printing, as well as some hip printing. You can see right there, continuing the blue sort of armor design from the main minifigure. One thing I'll point out is that the hairpiece is actually really tight on this minifigure. I don't think that's always common for this since it is one of the more generic Lego female hairpieces. Let's just check out on Rogue, but that one comes out pretty easily. I feel like the red version here is probably an official part, but maybe with the printing process at some point it just made it a little tighter or this color is just a little tighter, but it just does not come off easily. You really have to wrestle with it. You can see right there, I'm gonna get it off camera just to be a little safer with the print. And finally got it off. It did look like an official part. It does have the Lego sort of printing on the mold. And now we can see the alternative face on the back where it is a bit more stern. You know, the other one has that bit of a smirk. For all I say, the face prints on these are pretty good. Looks like there might be some sort of blurriness on the ink on the face at least. Torso is going to be fine though. And it looks like the alternate one might be a little bit better. The eyebrows seem like they do have some sort of missing ink on the shaping there. It kind of makes it look like more natural hair, but I don't know if that's fully intentional or not. But the back, same as the front, same sort of blue armor pieces. On the back doesn't continue down to the hip, which is fine, I guess. But overall, you know what, the colors are pretty nice. The blue stands out, it's just blue. It doesn't have like a lot of yellow leaking through it or anything. I think the darker yellow orange for the sort of shadowy shading parts might be a little dark or I don't know. I could be wrong there. Maybe the line thickness is a little off or something. But that stands out to me a bit. I think it's serviceable, but it might not be everyone's favorite choice there. And just comparing that to the Sioux Storm here, I feel like the hips are pretty similar. Because part of me kind of thought that this might be a little skinnier on the waist side, but it seems pretty typical to me actually comparing it to that one. 
I'll say it. I do like the side printing here. It definitely adds a little bit of extra to this minifigure to make it a little bit more worth it value wise. And also just on the head, like the pink looks good there for the little shape. X symbol also looks like it has clean detailing for being a small little design there. And black outlines on these like pouch parts, whatever those would be, seems clean as well. And this is going to be on normal yellow, so it'll fit in right with your brand new X-Men 97 Wolverines, as well as the new Cyclops. So that's great to see. I like that color choice. You know, when it gets that dark orangish color, it's fine. I can see why they wouldn't want to use yellow, just because then you have like the yellow legs out in the Lego inventory and people do weird things with those, but the actual Lego yellow is great here. Glad to see that. I'm pretty happy with this minifigure overall. Let's try out another hair option. And we're just going to use the red hair here from that Phoenix figure. And that's a pretty good look. I think that this could definitely work for some versions of this character from the 90s. Otherwise, I think it'd be good to find a ponytail piece of some sort that could fit on this because that is also a pretty standard jean 90s look. Very happy with this, especially the facial expressions, honestly, compared to some of the MRM more cartoony game faces. These look great and aren't going to stand out in your collection. And let's go ahead and get into those comparisons and the final verdict. But before we do that, I just noticed something about this figure, the blue on the head and then the blue that is printed. It is a little bit off. The blue on the torso is going to be a little darker, unfortunately. But it is pretty close, and maybe the materials could be different on the suit. But just wanted to point that out quick. The most important thing to me when it comes to my X-Men minifigures is do they pass the smell test when you put them next to other official LEGO figures or custom figures? Do they fit in? What are some differences? Are they over-detailed? And this definitely hits the mark, especially since it is based off of a design that was alongside other minifigures that were made by LEGO in that video game. So they're just copying the design from there. Of course, it's going to fit in with characters that were also in the game. Facial expressions on this, much improved. One of my biggest complaints with this Emma Frost character was that faces are just way too expressive and unrealistic and just don't fit the character. For Jean, having the bit of a smirk and then a bit more stern look, perfect. That is exactly what I'm looking for. And it's great to see it next to Phoenix as well and all these other X-Men minifigures. With the pace that LEGO is getting these out, going with the custom minifigures is the only way to go about expanding your roster. Hopefully the X-Mansion set that comes out eventually, that is rumored, is going to have a good amount of characters and not just a bunch of repeats like the sets have been having. I don't know about everybody else. I don't think I need a 8th or ninth Wolverine version. You know, all of them have been pretty great, but I want more characters. That's why it was nice to get Rogue in the X-Jet and getting this 90s style jean is perfect for me. I'm just expanding my basically line of animated series minifigures, but also I read the X-Men series by Jim Lee in that sort of era of the 90s with a blue and gold team. And also just this new Jim Lee Cyclops is great. I switched out the hair piece on there and the legs. Getting those together now is gonna be awesome. Really love the designs there and the overall consistency on these MRM X-Men minifigures like Professor X and Jean now are amazing. You know, Emma Frost is a little simple, not necessarily my favorite design for the character, but works, especially in a collection. Just being able to get her in pretty normal outfit, nothing super kind of gross, but very happy with my X-Men collection. Only a couple more characters that I need for it, you know, I definitely keep my eye out for stuff in the future if it's something I'm not thinking about right now, but Jean's awesome. Definitely would recommend it, and they should still be in stock on their store if you want to get one. If you want to see more LEGO X-Men videos or custom LEGO videos overall, check out all the videos on my channel. I've been Brick Radioff, and I'll see you in the next video.